Hello and welcome guys. Today we will understand about the topic which is MT103 remit. Now to understand this MT103 remit, we should also understand what is remit and what is remittance. And then we'll go ahead with our MT103 the remit structure, message structure basically. So first one, remit. What is remit? A basic definition of remit means sending back meanings to send back right to send back anything is called as remit now what is remittance remittance okay now remittance is a payment of money that is transferred to another party right Simple meaning is a payment of money, payment of money that is transferred to that is transferred to another party. Basically, making a payment itself is called as a remittance. So here, as per the definition, payment of a money that is to be that is transferred to another party, right? I hope it is clear. And uh, often used to describe sum of money sent by someone walking abroad to family back home, right? So that is also uh, can be considered as uh, a remittance. And broadly speaking, any payment of an invoice or bill can be also called as remittance, right? Any payment of invoice or bill uh, can also be called as remittance, right? So these are the basic definition of a remit and remittance. Now, the another aspect of the MT103 remit is what we need to understand in terms of the message structure and also what is there in MT103 remit specially, right? Those information we need to un understand thoroughly. So, there are some features. I'll just go ahead and explain one by one. I'll write it down first of all. Now, in order to send this MT103 remit message, right? A bank needs to have or requires registration in extended remittance information message user group right so uh, requires registration in extended remittance Mrs. User Group. So this group particularly, right? This Mrs. User Group extended remittance Mrs. User Group basically is a closed user group, right? Where only the banks which are registered can send this as well as receive md103 remit messages in order to process successful now another aspect of this md103 remit message is it allows its subscribers to exchange messages md103 with an extended amount of remittance information in Fill seventy seventy, right? So allows extended amount of remittance information in 
to 77 T. Now 77 T is what? Regulatory reporting tab. To its subscribers again, right? So this is the next feature of this empty ones with three in MA. Next one is there is no field. There is no tag 70, right? Which is the remittance information in normal MT103. Alright. So this is the third feature. The fourth one is and very important one this one right user header block must have user header block must have let's say it is block 3 starts with 119 and then this part it should be remit then only it will be considered as remit mt103 remit right all right so these are the main features of the remit mt103 remit right and coming to um Coming to the uh, tags wise, right? Mandatory tags. Mandatory tags. It will have all those uh, tags which are available in normal MT103. For example, 20, 23A, 32A. 50 um okay, right 59 or ER, whatever right and then um again 71a details of charges right here generally 70a these are the mandatory tracks right and optionally Optionally, we generally used to have 70 in the tag remittance information, but here in MT103 remit, there won't be available, right? So here we will use, we would use 7070. So this is the, this is basically uh, specifies, it basically specifies the codes for the statutory and or regulatory information right uh, required by the authorities in the country of the sender or receiver so let's understand this uh, within structure wise let's go ahead and understand this with the structure wise So, as we generally take it, as we generally take it uh, with an example, let's take an example, a simple one, from, I want to send, City US CBO IN right. So if he wants to transfer a fund, then uh, if MT one zero three remit message has to be used, 
where actually the regulatory statutory reporting has to be done and in that case I mean if, if regulatory reporting has to be done at the country India or uh, US then the message MT103 remit should be sent to the city US and in, in that all those information uh, would be available let's, let's let's get started with the message structure now let's start creating the message now block one okay and okay f01 to use this scblin triple x and block two we are using and uh, and basically uh, it will be right it is um, before that it is I103 and then receiver is city US 33 triple X block 3 119 here we have to use remit and followed by some other stuff and block 4 right so we will have that 20 transaction reference number right we have uh, 23b bank operation code 32a we know that it is validated currency and the amount in the bank settlement amount then we have 33b Exchange rate 36. Sorry, 33 is in structure model, it is in um, exchange rate and then 50k, uh, which is our in customer details 57a uh, account institution basically city US 33 triple X 59. Is final beneficiary, let's say Sam, right? Sam and the account number and those information. And then we have 71A, this uh, charge details, let's say it is 7, 71F, let's say 10, USD 10. And then we have, now remember, as I said, for the remittance, since it is MT103 remit, right it will not use tax 70 it will not use tax 70 and uh, let's uh, in this case we have tax 77 now tax 77 is very 77t perhaps right 77t it will have now 77t i'll just explain in this column 77t right it will be basically 3 into 35 character now 77t if it has to be there right now how would they define it right 77t now 77t first of all let's understand what is 77 uh, t or 77 so it is for regulatory reporting um, specifies codes for regulatory or statutory bodies required by authorities authorities of sender or receiver bank receiver uh, country I would say now uh, for example uh, let's take one example 77 T um, let's say if it is sending 
let's see where i n is sending then in that case let's say it is order rush followed by uh, country code i n and then followed by the um, purpose code which will be used in text so it's a b or the purpose code is a uh, three character uh, for example if i am using ccp followed by some this thing right and another so basically it is 35 into 3 35 into 3 right so now for example ccp is nothing but it is defined as a corporate card payments So if it is used CCP and then if it has to be sent to the regulatory bodies and then they will identify with these tags and then necessary uh, reconciliation would be done at bank level and the respective uh, system level, right? That is a separate topic altogether. But there are like so many other purpose code in tax and B which they can use. For example, as I said, CCP is a, car, a corporate card payment. Uh, if it is a bonus let's say if it is bonus it will be bon b o n uh, if it is uh, let's say salary then s a l right so this is salary and so on there are like so many more than uh, 50 uh, purpose codes uh, available for the tax and seven so this is all about the mt103 remit and thank you for watching this video